Whoa, that's a lot of bush. I mean, there's plenty of bush around here, but I feel the, the you know, there's more bush in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look, she's saying hello. Hi. Hi, subscribe to Zira. No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't disrespect a dead body like that. She's got nice tits, though. Oh, 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 you fucking, oh, you fucking missing. You missing, boy. Excuse me, lady, I've just got to, uh, take this underwear here for some evidence. No, they're clean. They're clean. Bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Oh, I've seen the bush. There's plenty of room for two birds. I'm telling you right now. Whoa! Yeah, he, ain't, he ain't getting out of that. What is going on YouTube Universe? This is Zero bringing you guys another installment of LA Noir, where we are leaving behind the traffic unit. And in today's episode, we officially undertake our promotion to the homicide unit, where obviously we're going to deal with a lot of murders and blood and guts and, and a lot of awesomeness. So I hope you guys have your detective caps on. Sit back, relax, it's game time. And we are kicking things off with the Red Lipstick Murder, which takes place six months after the last time we saw Cole Phelps within the traffic unit. And this is inspired by the Black Dahlia murders that happened in real life. So if you're familiar with that, you'd understand what's going on. If not, check it out. It's, uh, no, no, no. it's good to see Rockstar taking influence from real life, just to bring a lot of realism into it, but... uh. God, beating the shit out of her. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. I'm already seated, Let's sir. Let's get this over before lunch. Okay, Captain. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Okay. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Okay, Rusty I'm ready. Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Dusty Rusty. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Not a real werewolf. It's a it's a serial killer nickname, the werewolf. Investigate the Moors crime scene. Fun fact with Zira. Um, Captain turned around and made mention that Cole Phelps has been uh, elevated from the burglary unit to the homicide unit. Whereas we know in the game he's gone from traffic unit to homicide unit. And that's because when the game was being developed, Cole Phelps was supposed to go from traffic to burglary then to homicide but rockstar came to team bondi and said look we feel the game is big enough without the burglary unit let's take it out but obviously they'd already recorded the voice lines for the characters and uh oh captain my captain here still says burglary so the more you know do you have the address it's been all over kgpl it's off temple street between belmont and glendale well you're driving you're gonna be driving. Oh, hello. Actually, no, you're old as hell. Heavens. Yeah, heavens, you're probably dusty down there, bit dustier than rusty here. You can drive. Dusty's soon gonna know. He's soon gonna learn that uh, I like taking the back seat sometimes and letting my partner drive. Now, obviously, now that we're in homicide, we're going to be dealing with some unsightly things, so bear that in mind as we continue. The examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother Ow. asshole, a sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Yeah, Let fuck off. Job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. They're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Fucking parasites. 
Take the camera and ram it right up their fucking ass. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, that's a lot of bush. I mean, there's plenty of bush around here, but I feel the, the you know, there's more bush in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. What well, part of it? Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. I can see. Known locally you look to the right, you can see right up here. first on the scene? Yes, detective. That's... No one's disturbed the body. It's a very no, distracting sir. side. I'm sorry for uh, so sorry for alluding to it. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Might have to do some pixelations. Now, in this uh, specific realm, like the the homicide unit, what can you tell me about? We can print? accidentally contaminate the evidence. So, Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. When we've had instances in the past where I've been worried about touching some shit. Ooh, a purse. Um, we can definitely contaminate evidence, which actually ruins the entire case for us, if that's the case. Got some lipstick. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. From memory, this is a puzzle. It's like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Kaboom! The Bomba Club. That's a, Why steal a table lighter? <laughs> that's a dope fucking lighter. All that effort to open a lighter, though. What are you looking at over here? Nope. Fucking some cigarettes and Maybell's fried chicken sound good right about now, too. appear to be connected. Just making sure we're covering all, all bases. Alright, let's go look at the body. Actually, no. Speak to the coroner. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. I've already checked the personal Causing effects, so let's death? look at the woman. It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stopped. The cuts look what caused the blood? Fucking hell. Face. Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. It's fucked up to think that people in real life are actually capable of doing shit like that. Hmm. Fuck you, BD. Well, fuck you, TE something. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Her fingernails are chipped too. Maybe within the killer. Oh, look, she's saying hello. Hi. Hi, subscribe to Zira. No, I shouldn't I shouldn't disrespect a dead body like that. She's got nice tits though. What does the writing on the victim mean? B D Black Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomb? As I said, the Black Dahlia murder is something uh, taken from real life. I'm walking straight through those footprints and probably contaminating evidence. I really enjoy like TV shows like Bones, CSI, NCIS, things of that nature. And... You know, games like this really resonate with that and, and my love for those types of shows. You're driving, Rusty. Can you drive to this one? 
And where exactly are we going? The Bamba Club, motherfucker. Let's go. Now, here's an interesting concept, right? You could have just somebody in, you know, just an everyday person commit a murder. And if there's a serial killer at large, they can just use the MO of the serial killer and get away quite perfectly with murder. It, it's a it's a really good setup. What can I get you? Phelps and Galloway. That LAPD. very well might be the case here. Were you working here. here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. Okay, the Garrett Mason. I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? You know her? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. Very much would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. Fucking give you one finger, you bastard. Rather drink on the job than fucking give your man a help. Help in hand. Sam, well, hey, baby. Me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Hey, baby. You drove me up to Mulholland. And we did some... Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? That's the spirit. Christ. Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... was a lovely woman. Okay, so, got some questions for you. Just to start off with, uh, you were seen with the victim last night. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. I feel like he's straight shooting right now. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. That would help. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. I definitely think so as well. Thank you very much. The most helpful we've ha uh, person we've had so far in this series. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Yeah, you know very much well who fucking bought that ring for her, don't you, sir? Mr. McCall be a lion, motherfucker. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay, I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Yes, I always have. Yeah, I bet you wanted Celine to carry your torch, you know what I'm saying? You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. What aren't you sharing with me? So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But... He refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but... I got no answer. Hmm. Thanks, Mr. Suspicious. Cole. Suspicious. been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. 
Thank you, sir. I need to make a phone call. Let's get out of here. Move your ass, Rusty. You can have a drink elsewhere. Hey, what's the hurry? We've got to use the phone across the road. Nicely. Rusty is an old-fashioned... Uh... Oi! I'll fucking pull my gun out and shoot you, you bitch. Rusty's an old-fashioned detective. He, uh... You know, the type that would go to the bar, sink a few drinks... You know, stand around at a crime scene. Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. Make himself look like he's busy. How can I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? You sure should. Please. Thank you. Okay, so we've got an address for the bitch, so I think that's going to be our next point of contact. McCall looked really shaken up, um, and obviously yeah, there's damn. the license plate of the dude that we've got to chase up that left you know with, way. uh, can drive. with Celine. Fine. Where are we headed? To the Henry residence, bitch. Move your asshole. Someone needs to take care of their lawns a little bit better. Actually, all of them do. Open up, housekeeping. Wait here a second. Yeah, I bet you would try the back door, wouldn't you? Stay away from my back door. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we've had a break in. Why would you kick open the back door like that if there was a window you could climb through? And if there was someone Stop inside, wouldn't that be better? It's like somebody's creeped the joint. Wouldn't it be better to stealthily climb through a window and not make yourself heard than to kick down a fucking door like that? Well, we have a shoe. Size nines. Above average for a lady. Yeah, especially given how small she was. She was only five foot seven. Burglar used the pry bar. Oh. Why did you kick the door in? I see some underwear on that clothesline with Phelps' name on it. $30 suit. You got another thing coming, Buster. $30? $30? Actually, back then, $30 would have been quite a lot. So, Lena and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Well, Crime scene evidence still we now know where Jacob lives. Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get tech. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll talk to the neighbors. Oh. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when it's thirsty. Tiffany? The rest of the stuff is junk. I might explain the missing ring. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Request of technical service. Regular Amelia Earhart per day. That's a big fucking ring. Doesn't look like there's much else for me to check out here. Oh no, we've got some goggles. Incidental. Wonder whether she put them on when they did the nasty. Alright, we're going to go talk to the neighbour. I bet you Rusty, she's going to stand around looking good. Just stay there, Rusty. Keep your dick out of the fire hydrant. I've got a fucking neighbour to talk to. Oh, neighbour's only just got home by the looks of things. Excuse me, lady, I've just got to, uh, take this underwear here for some evidence. <laughs> nah, they're clean. They're clean. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss- Horgan! 
Jennifer Horgan. I'll give you my Horgan. I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but... Wish that pigeon would fuck off. And she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. Mm. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I don't know about you, but Mrs. this Henry woman's getting my murdered. dander up. Murdered? Oh my god. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Um, I'll be there in a minute, Rusty. I've got to help this, uh, got to help Miss Horgan sit down on my Horgan. I'm coming, baby. Why are these motherfuckers carrying umbrellas when there's no rain clouds in the sky at all? Okay, Felt, we go in hard. You follow my lead. Oh, going in hard is my specialty, trust me. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm going to have her do a little bit of a investigation right now. What do we got over here? I get even oh, I remember doing this. This is cool. You would have done this back in the day as a kid, like tracing leaves and stuff, but uh, detectives can use it to uncover hidden messages. Thanks for the offer. I need you to do something about my wife. The oldest problem there is. Mm. What to do about the old lady? That's not pre 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 premeditated murder. I don't know what is. Seems irrelevant. Uh, Cole Phelps is having himself a bat. What size shoe are you, big boy? Size, size eleven. 11. Too big to be the killer, because the killer was wearing size 8s. That's the case, let's go talk to this bastard, see what he has to say. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. If you're going to try to convince me you didn't kill your wife, you better stop fucking lying to me, you bastard. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. You do know? You got a phone call last night. Didn't know how I know? I got your alibi. We know she went to the Baba Club. <sighs> the bartender there. He calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Maybe you should have said yes, she'd still be alive. I rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. Because you're ignorant, you fuck. I'm gonna have to live with that. I'm gonna have to live with that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night, uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Well, that's the truth, because uh, Horgan gave us that exact same information. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but... Right around nine. Okay, but we got motive for you killing her, you bastard. 
Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Yeah, that's because that's why you're looking around very suspect. You know, suspect you fucking. Why do people lie to me? Why? I'm a detective. Just tell me the truth, and it's easier than having to fucking poke the bear. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Yeah, how about the uh, note next to your tel telephone, you fuck? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. Yep. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? It was a loss of the trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your oh. goddamn mouth. <laughs> Rusty. So now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh, you're fucked now, boy. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. You fucking... Oh, you fucking missing. You missing, boy. Fuck off. If you weren't already fucked for Call it in and for murder, or at least potential murder, fucking punching a police officer is not going to bode well for you, you dickhead. I'm gonna fucking punch you in the back of your head. I want to see my lawyer. Oh, you can see my dick in a minute. Operator, give me R and I. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. The closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Oh, fuck. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, This game does not hold back. Operator, give me R and I. Very in depth when it comes Any to these word cases. On an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown nineteen thirty six Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of four oh two South Fremont Street, apartment sixteen. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Okay. Got it. We're coming in. So normally we'd go check this Mendez's apartment first, but we're going to go straight to Central to further interview uh, this dickhead right here, because that's the orders of the captain. Okay, Rusty, you're driving. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? We're going to home base, sir. I assume your drunk ass knows where home base is, right? We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment call, Phelps? No, sir. Not at all, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. And I'm not? Bird in hand has always worked two in the bush. Oh, I've seen the bush. There's plenty of room for two birds. I'm telling you right now. Run along now, Phelps. I've warmed them up. There was room for plenty in the bush that I saw. I'm telling you, it'll never stick, and you'll get roasted. Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. Well then, time to play ball. 
What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. You were not. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket wrench. No. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years Phelps you had hold back. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. Well, we can because um, you refused to pick up the phone when the phone was call was made. Can. You bastard. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're going to fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. Oh, what the fuck? She was an aviator. Famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. It's all you can ask of a man. But Celine. She never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. You did it. Everything points to you. What does Tex mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. He yeah. I think he's telling the truth. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what, That's what we're here for. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other. Where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me. Who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. Now, I don't think he did this. And also, you know, at the start of the missions and the cases where they show you a glimpse of what's happening, it didn't look like him killing Celine as well. Over. So going into the case, we should have an indication as to who it is. You know what I'm saying? There to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Well, Mrs. Horgan reckons you two were having marital problems. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her. All right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? Oh, Rusty's already said he'd belt the woman. Took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? That's a very good point. You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? He doesn't know. A garnet ring given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. Well. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. In that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. That was my last question. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Captain's not going to be happy. Phelps. You failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your Steiner police work. Fuck you! 
This style of police work got me a promotion, bitch. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Sorry, Nick. Take a look around and see what you can find. Well, here we go. So, she were you. I gotta get these to Ray. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. Oh, I don't think we're gonna need just the size eights. We got the fucking murder weapon right here. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. So it was definitely a copycat killer. It wasn't, um, it's not the Black Dahlia murder, or murderer. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? You think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Oh, great. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing in my house? Mendez, stop right there! Fucking murder someone and don't think the cops are gonna rock up and check out your house, you fuckhead! This boss is making me do cardio. You don't need to do this, Alonzo! He's gonna make it into that car. Get in and drive. Move over, Rusty. Let's take this bastard out. Whoa! They didn't need those park benches, right? Idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Your partner will Stay attempt to disable Spin fleeing suspects. Stay close to the left rear bumper of the suspect to give him a clean shot. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Whoa! He ain't, he ain't getting out of that. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Jesus Christ! I'm surprised he's still alive after that fucking car flip. Holy shit! Get in there, you piece of shit. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. Don't need to, got the murder weapon. Your prints are gonna be all over it. You're a fuckhead. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. Thank you, Captain. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. That's me. Considering the evidence against your suspect, and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Okay. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Uh, no... No drink for me? Fucking son of a bitch, I do all the work and I don't even get a drink. Did we get everything? That's five out of five, baby. Slow down. Yes! Five out of five. Jacob Henry is left to mourn while Mendez waits in lockup for a visit from the DA. 19 out of 19 clues found. 10 out of 10 questions answered. Five stars for the fourth consecutive case. We're getting good, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting real good. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far, considering it was the votes from you guys that made this game land on the channel in the first place. If you have liked this series, if you did enjoy this episode, if you were keen to see more, if you answer yes to one of those questions... Hit that like button down below because it does go a long way to supporting myself. And if you'd like to support myself a bit more and you haven't done so already, 
hit that subscribe button down below. We're building one hell of a community of people. I've got a lot of goals and, you know, things I want to achieve with this channel. And by hitting subscribe, you're helping me take one step forward to reaching those goals and milestones. If you've missed any cases, there is a playlist down below. You can access all of them. And make sure you hit that bell icon down below so you get a ring-a-ding-ding whenever a fresh upload hits my channel. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.